I always uh, joke and say that I am a painter of love. I just really want to share my love of learning, my love of uh, people, and my love of community. My name is Chi Nguyen, and I identify with the LGBTQ community, the Vietnamese uh, American community, and the uh, political refugee community. I'm the executive director of Apano. I live in West Salem, Oregon, but I consider Portland, Oregon my home. I live with my uh, mom, my dad, and my two children, Alexander and Isabel. My family and I moved to Portland in 1990 after having um, stayed at a refugee camp in Thailand. I remember struggling with English, being so far away from family members, and getting used to living life in America. That was 30 years ago, and these are all issues that Apanos communities still face today. And during my first week at Apano, what really inspired me was seeing Apano spring into action when 123 asylees were detained in Sheridan. In that moment, to get to stand with Apano, I knew I was in the right place as a mother, as a political refugee myself, and as someone who's experienced what it was like to be separated from my family. Family, to me, is the point of it all. It's the motivation for why I do a lot of the things that I do. It's for them, it's because of them, and it fuels me. Important work is difficult, but that's why we have to go back to why we do what we do. It's for a better future so that my kids, your kids, don't have to encounter the challenges that we had to go through. My favorite things that I get to do at Apano is share in the community um, events. Um, they just bring together so many intersectional groups. It's not very many spaces where I can actually be with other Asian Pacific American um, in the Portland community, and really Apano provides that home for me. We need to invest in our community, we need to invest in our women, we need to invest in our family, whatever that definition of family might be. I think those are all things that are so crucial that we're fighting for, um, how we got here and what gives us the ability to thrive as we are here together in community with each other. I feel compelled that if I'm in a position of power to fight, Oregon has invested in me. Therefore, I should help organize those folks and give them the voice and give them the megaphones and remove the barriers, whether it be access to language or whether it be um, access to childcare to be able to show up and, to these events. Those are all um, barriers from them being able to advocate for their own desires and needs. This is the time more than ever that we need our Apano members to roll up their sleeves and get to work with us because this is the time where we need to bolster our growth. A time when many folks might think that we're done growing. I think this is just the beginning. It's the new era of Apano.